shalom alinu v'yal kol amo Yisrael. Baruch atah, atah Adonai hapore sukat shalom. Shalom alinu v'yal kol amo Yisrael. Yerushalayim, v'yal kol amo. V'yal Yerushalayim, shalom. V'yal Yerushalayim, v'yal kol amo. Baruch Ata, Ata Adonai Hapore Sukat Shalom, Shalom Alinu V'yal Kol Amo Yisrael. Shalom Alinu V'yal Kol Amo Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Thank you for coming out. It's stifling hot weather. We're all going to keep cool tonight. I think most of you know this song, so maybe you can sing along with me. So we sing, Hine Mato. Hine Mato Manai Shevetahi sometimes here called Kol Hanshama. Start off slow and then we'll get faster as we go along. So I hope you'll sing this one with me too. Hallelujah, 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 Kol Han Shama, Hallelujah, 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 Kol Han Shama, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
song it's a, a contemporary version of a song that's been around for a long time that we've done both ways and it comes from a precept from I think, Pirkei Avot and um, it's called Al Shloshad Devarim upon three things the world stands and we're going to do the contemporary version now Al Shlosha Divari Al Shlosha Divari Ha Olam Ha Olam Let's sing that one again Al Shlosha Divari Al Shlosha Divari Ha Olam Al Shlosha Divari Olam ha olam ome, al ha Torah, yal ha avoda, yal gimilut chasadi. Al ha Torah, yal ha avoda, yal gimilut chasadi. Al shlosha divari, al shlosha divari. Ha olam o me, al shlosha divari, al shlosha divari. Ha olam o me, al shlosha, al shlosha divari. I would say six thirty-three or so. All right. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. We started a little bit early so that hopefully people who are watching on Facebook um, could know that we were here when they uh, when we started actually started the service. So it's great to see you all, and um, uh, it's a wonderful Shabbat. We're still going to wait another minute or two for, for some more people to show up, but uh, uh, I wanted to introduce our cantorial soloist Ben Silver, and I'm Rabbi Susan Abramson, and we're here at Temple Shalom Emmeth. The back parking lot, which is the most aesthetically pleasing place we have right now to be outside, and so far I shouldn't I shouldn't give it a kanahara, but no mosquitoes, we're all good. Uh, so why don't we do maybe one more sure. song, and then we will begin our service. Sounds good. Let's sing a song called Romamu. Oh, what page? It's in the prayer book in quite a few different places. So you have to look. That's okay. It's like 4.30 might be one of them. I'm not sure. Pretty short song, so many of you will know the words. Roma move. I 
yellow he knew who be his tahabu, the har kohu so, be his tahabu, the har kohu so, be his tahabu, the har kohu so. Thank you, Ben. And uh, we're now going to continue our service or officially begin our service with the lighting of the Shabbat candles. And I have to say this was my uh, most special uh, purpo uh, purchase let yesterday. Uh, we have, we we're trying to think how, what kind of candles could we find that wouldn't blow out in the breeze. So I found citronella candles, which serve a dual purpose. So I would like to invite Mindy Stanley, a past president of our temple, who uh, helped arrange the service for us this evening to light the Shabbat candles for us this evening on page 120. Where's the charm? Yeah. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu lahad litner shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kiddishanu the mitzvot of the tzivano lehadlik ner shel shabbat. Amen. Amen. continue our service as we greet the Shabbat bride. Bride, now that we've lit the Shabbat candles with L'chad on page 138. Adonai Echad, who 
Shabbat bride, we're going to continue with the Baruch Hu, our call to prayer, as we continue with the next section of our service, called the Shema Uvir Choteha, and you may find that on page 146, please rise in body or in spirit. Praise Adonai, to whom praise is due forever. Praise be Adonai, to whom <coughs> praise is due, now and forever. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMavorach Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Leolam Vaed Page 148 Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ari Varavim Bechokma Poteach She'arim Uvitvuna mishane itim, umachalif et hazmanim, umsader et ha kochavim, the mishmerotehem barakia kirsono, bore yom valila, golil or mipne hoshech, the hoshech mipne or, uma avir yom umevi lila, umavdil ben yom uvein lila, Adonai Tzvaot Shemo El Chai V'Kayam Tamid Yimloch Aleinu L'Olam Va'ed Baruch Ata Adonai HaMa'ariv Aravim Together at the top of 149 Praise to you Adonai our God from whom the evening flows Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide Your breath guides the sail of the stars Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamaariv Aravim. Page 150. <laughs> Amcha, 
Tim Otano le Mahadita Otano le Mahadita Akin Adonai Eloheinu Bishach Binu Ufkumenu Nasiach Bechu Kecha Venismach Bedivre Toratcha Ubmitzvotecha Le Olam Vaed Ki Him Chayinu Biorech Yameinu your people Israel, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. We continue with the Shema, the watchword of our Jewish faith, on pages 152 and 153. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem, Kivod Malchuto, Leolam Vaed. Please be seated. Join me in the sing saying of the Via Hafta prayer on page 154. Via Hata Ehi Adonai Elohecha, Behol of Ha, Uvchol Nafshecha, Uvchol Odecha, Behayu Advarim Ha Ehele, Asher Anohi Mitzavka, Hayohom Aliva Becha, Vishinantaham Liva Necha, Vidibarta Bom. Beshiftecha ha bevetecha, uvlechtecha ha vaderek, uvshachbacha ha uvkumecha, uksartam le ohot al yadecha, vehayu le totafot ben enecha, uchtavta ha ha ham al mizuzot betecha, uvisharecha, le ma antis keruhu, va asitehem et kol mitzvotai. Vi tem kedoshim lelohechem ani Adonai elohechem asher hotzehti etchem me eretz mitzrayim liyot lachem lelohim ani Adonai elohechem. Together in English, you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God, Adonai Elohechem Emet. Now we continue on page 158 with the singing of Micha Mocha, the song that the Israelites sang when they crossed the Red Sea to freedom's grip. And I can't help but think that at this very second, we're, we're witnessing thousands of people fleeing to freedom uh, from the grip of an unknown 
uh, oppressor. And so when we, when we sing Micha Mocha, uh, we think about all those who have gained their freedom in Afghanistan and all those who are right now, right as we speak, rushing to get out and all those who are waiting anxiously for their, for their freedom. <coughs> Mika mocha ba elim adonai, Mika mocha nedar ba kodesh, Mika mocha ba elim adonai, Mika mocha nedar ba kodesh. No rate ilot, o se fele, no rate ilot, o se fele, adonai. Adonai imloch leolam vahe Machutecha rahu banecha Bokei ayam nifne Moshe umiryam Ve'eli anu v'yamaru Ve'eli anu v'yamaru Adonai imloch leolam vahe Adonai imloch leolam vahed Adonai imloch leolam vahed And now we continue with the Hashki Venu prayer on page 160. And the Hashki Venu prayer talks about God sheltering us with a shelter of God's peace. And uh, it's been such a long, difficult summer for so many reasons, and, and, and there's so much turmoil uh, in the world and in our, in our midst, in our minds. And so we take this opportunity to just think about how God can help us create a shelter of peace within us, particularly on this day of Shabbat, page 160. <laughs> Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Verhamidenu Shomreinu Lichayim Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Verhamidenu Shomreinu Lichayim Ushmor Tzeteinu Lechaim ul shalom beatav yad olam. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu lishalom vehamidenu shomreinu lechaim. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu lishalom. Behamidenu shomreinu lechayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. And now we continue on page 162 of the singing of Ishamru, the people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. Ishamru, b'nei Yisrael, et ha-Shabbat, la-asot, et ha-Shabbat, l'dorotambari olam. Shabbat lit Dorotam Berit Olam. Beniu vein, bene Israel, bene Israel, oh he, the oh lam. Beshamru, bene Israel, et a Shabbat, a so et a Shabbat lit Dorotam Berit Olam. 
Ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai, asa Adonai, et hashamayim ve et ha'aret ve shamru b'nei Yisrael et hashabat la'azor et ha'ashabat l'dorotam b'ri olam uvayom hashvi shavat ve'inafash shavat ve'inafash shavat and that concludes the second section of our service, and we now continue with the third section, the tefillah, which means the prayer, which is the part of the service where we pray directly to God and we thank God for being the God of our ancestors, the God of strength and the God who brings peace to the, our people Israel. So we please rise on, uh, if we're able, on page 164. <laughs> Ana na 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 ufi yagi ufi yagi tehila teha Ana na 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 Adonai Ana na 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 svata tita Ana na 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 ufi yagi ufi yagi Adonai Eloheinu Elohe avotenu v'imo tehinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'il Hagadol Hagibor v'hanora El El Yohon Gomel Chasadim Tovim V'konei Hakol Vizocher chaste avot be imahot, ume vi geula, lib neve nehem, the ma anchemo via haba, melechozeher, umoshia umagehim, baruchata adonai, magehim, Abraham be ezra, Sarah. Page 168. Ata gibor le olam adonai, Mechaye ha kol ata rav lehoshia. Mechake chayim bechesed. Mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim. So homech no hopnim berope choholim. Umati rasurim. Um kahayim emunato. Lishene afar. Micha mocha baal givurot. Umi doho mehelach, melech me mihi, um chahayehi, um atzmiach yeshua. Vene eman ata vehachayohot hahakol, baruch ata adonai, mechahaye hakol. Page 170. Ata kadosh v'shimcha kadosh, ugdoshim b'chol yom, yahalaluhu chasela. Baruch Atah Adonai Ha'el HaKadosh 
please be seated. And we read together on the top of page 173. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. And I continue with a song for peace, Shalom Rav, on page 178. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki ata ho ho melech adon Le'chol ha-shalom Shalom Rahab al Yisrael Amcha Tasihim Le'olam Shalom Rahab al Yisrael Amcha Tasihim Le'olam Shalom Rahab Al Yisrael Amcha Tasihim Le'olam Tasihim Le'olam Tasihim Le'olam Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. Baruch Ata Adonai Ham Barich Et Amo Yisrael Ba Shalom. Now we continue on page 371 with the Misha Berach Get Well Prayer. <clears throat> May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. This evening we think of Mitchell Burlow, and we also think of all of those who have, uh, are in the process of, of being uprooted and, and fleeing Afghanistan, all of those who were injured in the bomb blast yesterday. We think of everybody who has been suffering with COVID uh, right now or over this past summer or over the past year, and i um, like to invite anybody to add any other names or any other groups of people they would like. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for all of their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. <coughs> May God send, swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. <laughs> Mekor habracha le imotenu. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Me. 
mohutinu mekor habraha la avohutinu bless those in need of healing with rafuwa shlehima the renewal of body the renewal of spirit and let us say Amen. And uh, now that we, our thoughts have gone out to those who are ill, who need our support, we also think at this moment about how grateful we are for all the blessings in our lives. And so there are so many reasons for us to be thankful at this moment uh, that we've arrived, that we've reached this moment in time. Uh, we've got a couple of, of, of great things that we're really thankful for. First of all, Mitchell uh, got through his triple bypass surgery and he's recovering very nicely. Uh, Jill Kornetsky, I know we've been following her story. Um, she got out of Kabul um, two days ago and her mother just called me before the service to say that she's arrived in Washington, D.C. First she, went, she was sent to Qatar uh, for a couple of days and then, then to Germany and then finally so she's to Washington so she's safe, thank God, in this country. Um, we also are grateful to just be able to be here together in person. Uh, some of us are here for the first time in a year and a half. Uh, we've got a, some new faces here. Welcome to you. We're, we're grateful to have you here. Um, I'm also thankful to Ben for, uh, for creating this wonderful spiritual experience. And, and does any, would anybody else, uh, I'm also, we also want to say a Shehech uh, Thank you, God, uh, for um, Meg is celebrating her 60th birthday. Was I supposed to say that, the number? <laughs> Too late, I already did. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and and is, would anybody like to say anything else that they're that they're grateful for at this moment? Val and I have to talk about what kind of grandmothers we can be, Val. Um, I'm very grateful for my one-year-old wonderful Talia. And Val, do you have any? I I am extremely grateful for our four-month-old baby James. So. So just for those of you who are, are, uh, are following us on Facebook, uh, we are thankful for baby Dahlia who just turned one year old and I'm thankful for her because I get, every single day I get pictures or videos of her and she brightens up every day. <laughs> and, and I have to admit that Val has not been quite a, as diligent with baby James, but, um, but we're extremely grateful for, for him as well. And uh, anybody else? I'm also grateful for our anonymous donors who have, have uh, renovated our, our grounds and made our temple look so much better. And I'm also thankful to Andy and Heidi and, and everybody else here who really, you would not believe how many hours they put into coming here and, 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 uh, and fixing up the inside as well as the outside of the temple. And he just uh, was working with the ADT people to, to bring um, more enhanced uh, fire protection and security to our building. So, so for all of these things, we are grateful and we continue with the Shehachi Anu prayer, thanking God for enabling us to reach this joyous moment. Right, right, and, and, and thank you to the Holmes family, not only for printing the Well-Wish booklet, for, but also for donating all the lights and new lights in front of our temple. Thank you. I want to say I'm grateful also from our son, Sam, is doing well and uh, going to his senior year in high school, thinking Wait, about... That's, that's <laughs> he is, he's really only that tall. He just looks bigger, though. <laughs> I know, he's, he's, he's a pretty smart guy. He, he has all these tricks. He's visiting colleges, and he's actually took a college course this summer, and he's uh, also got himself a job at Staples, so he's an enterprising young young man. He's doing well. And as Meg likes to say about her birthday, it's just another trip around the sun, right, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are we doing? Pecciano, of course. <laughs>
Kata, Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Shehechianu, Vekiyamanu, Vehigianu, Lazman Hazeh. Baruch Ata, Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Shehechianu, Vekiyamanu, Vehigianu, Lazman Hazeh. And by the way, if anybody I else has a cell that. phone and they forgot to turn <laughs> off, please feel free to do that now. <laughs> um, and I'm also grateful, since you mentioned Sam, I'm grateful to my, that my son Aaron is starting his third year, third year of law school and just finished his exams two days ago and he's going to be working at the ACLU during an internship this coming semester. So I just want to say a brief word about this week's Torah portion, which is called Kitavo, which means when you enter, and it, it's, it's very relevant to today. So, so the Torah portion basically begins by saying, when the Israelite people were to finally cross into the land that God promised them, they were supposed to present to the priests an offering of the first fruits uh, to, as, as gratitude for their good fortune in having arrived in the, in the promised land. But then they were supposed to say something which is actually part of our uh, Passover Seder, which is my father was a fugitive Aramean. He went down to Egypt with meager numbers and sojourned there, but there he became a great and very populous nation. The Egyptians dealt harshly with us and oppressed us. They imposed heavy labor upon, the, upon us. And it goes on to describe um, the, the a history of oppression that our ancestors endured. So the question is, why the first thing after we, are, we were to cross into the promised land and, uh, and present our, show how grateful we are to God, do we talk about our oppression and, and how we had, an all, and recount the history of all the horrible things we had to endure. And, it, and it's to sensitize us to the idea that we were refugees, that, that, that we, endured lots of hardships and that we need to be, the most important thing for us is to be sensitive to anybody who is enduring oppression. And, and, and so these words speak so clearly to us right now because our hearts are with all of those who are right now, it's, it's like the Torah has once again come alive. All we have to do is turn on the TV and it's like the Torah right there. Uh, not not us who we, enduring this, this horrible, uh, uh, transition and fleeing from oppression, but, but others. And, and, but the Torah commandments commands us that we need to be as sensitive to those uh, refugees as well. And we have so many examples in our community. Uh, my mother-in-law died uh, this week and, and she was part of the second family of refugees that we brought to this country from the former Soviet Union that we resettled here. And so I think also of um, uh, our social justice committee and how we've been supporting Maria, who fled to this country uh, as an undocumented immigrant from uh, Guatemala, um, who we're still supporting because we know the importance of, of and we are sensitized to uh, the, uh, the cruelties of oppression, just how horrible, horrible that experience is. We still you know, remember those who perished in the Holocaust and those of our ancestors or even our grandparents, our great grandparents, who had to flee from Europe to safety, and so, and so the lesson for us today is not to just our, our challenge for us today is not to as grateful as we are for all the blessings that we have is not to just look at those horrible images on the screen and just see them as images on a screen, but for us to really connect emotionally with all of those people and what they're going through, and and to do what we can. Um, to help them in the process that, of the, that they are, are going through. And, um, and I know that, that Jill, now that she's going to be back, is probably going to want us to help um, people who she knows, who, who she was able to help escape from Afghanistan as well. So, so I'm, I'm hoping that we are gonna be able to do something concrete 
to help some Afghanis and, and, uh, and their struggles, just as we remember every year on Passover, like, like this is their Passover uh, right at this moment. Amen. And now we're going to continue our service with the Alenu on page 586. I just Please. wanted to let you know something. I've been counting the attendees here. We have about 21 people and one rabbit. All right, welcome to our rabbit. <laughs> this is this is this is a, a precursor to our uh, Noah's Ark animal service. He's checking it out. For <laughs> so we we continue on page five five eighty six with the Elenu. The rabbit has already risen. I invite the rest of you to rise as well. Alenu lisha beach la adon ha kol, la tet kedu la liot ser bereshit, shelo asanu kigoye ha aratzot, velo hosamanu kemish bechota adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vigo horalenu kichol hamonam, va anachnu korim umish tachavim umodim. Lifne melech mache hamlachim hakadosh baruchu. Please be seated. Please join me at the top of page 588. Shehu no teshamayim. Shehu no teshamayim ve yoser ha Umoshav yikaro bashamayim mimaal. Ushki natuzo, ushki natuzo. Begavhe mehrohomi hu elohenu enod emet makenu emesulato kakahato betorahato biadatta hayom biadatta hayom vahashevota elvahavecha ki adonai uha elohim. Who ha Elohim, Bashamayim mi ma'al, the aha aret, the aha aret, me he tahat, enod, enod. Page 591. Bene ermar, the haya adonai, the melech al koha aret. Bayom ha hu, bayom ha hu, yihye Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. The introduction to the Kaddish may be found on page 599. We think now of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at the season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. We recall those whose yard site or anniversary of their deaths occurs this month. David Karen, Lucy Levy, Jean Hall, Eunice Sue Wolf, Helen Roth, Seth Jason Rappaport, Barry Greenfield, Morton Newfeld. Catherine York, Eva Baden, Julius Glantz, Lillian Cohen, Mel Gillette, Arnold Flagg, Irving Fanger, Harriet Dauber, Sam Perlman. We recall Larissa Novacheva, who died this past week. And at this time, if there are names of others you'd like us to keep in our hearts and our minds as we prepare to recite the Kaddish prayer, you may say their names aloud or in your heart as I look around the circle. I we'll also like to remember the 13 U.S. service people who died in Afghanistan a couple of days ago, and all of the hundreds of Afghanis who were killed in the explosions there, those who have lost their lives over the past weeks, those who have lost their lives to COVID over the past week, month, and year. 
Zichron Amli Racha, may all of their memories be for a blessing. We rise in body or spirit to recite the Kaddish prayer on page 598. Yitgadal v'yitgadash me'i rabba v'yalmad kari v'imru amen. Yehesh me Rabba Mivarach Lolam Al Me Al Maya Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Ramam Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shme de Kudesha Barihu Oela Minko Birchata Vishirata Tushpachata Venechamata Damiran Bialma Vimru Amen Yehesh Lama Rabba Min Shmaya the Chayim Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom v'imramav, hu ya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony and high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to our country and all the world, as we say together, amen. Please be seated. So, um, this is usually the time for announcements. So does anybody have an announcement at the, at, so that your choice is saying your announcement from your seat and the people who are uh, online will not see it and probably not hear it, or you can come up here and uh, for a broader audience. Mindy. All right, so, so Mindy just said something that's not relevant to anybody online now. Anybody who's here can pick up their High Holiday uh, prayer books um, and uh, in, in, the, uh, in the front, at, at the front door, right? You'll bring them out to the front door. Great, thank you. Okay, what, what's your name? What's your name? Brand <laughs> Thank you. I won't repeat everything you just said, but, but nobody leaves without a gift bag. I hi how with a gift bag basically. I can't I can't do that accent, I'm sorry. Uh, any other Meg? Thank you. That one I will also, I will repeat. Um, our temple does the mitzvah every month of bringing 40 boxes of cereal, non-sugary, very important, the non-sugary cereal to Jewish family table for Jewish families in the greater Boston area. Um, where we've got, right now we've got exactly four boxes of cereal. So we need quite a lot of cereal. So please, uh, when you come to the open house on Sunday um, or any other time you, you uh, happen to stop by, please bring boxes of cereal. We need a lot of boxes. And that's for all of you Facebook people or people who are on, gonna be watching this later as well. Thank you. 
Val Jacobs is our outreach chair. She is coming to the mic. Coming to the mic to say that um, on Sunday, we have an open house from two to four and everyone's welcome. We already have we'll a, take a, off the oh, come to the mic and I don't talk to the mic, sorry. <laughs> um, so Sunday, two to four, we're gonna have um, a little activity, um, Rosh Hashanah activity for the children and we're going to have a nice show. We've done it once before and it was very well received for um, an animal group is coming and they're gonna bring a lot of exotic animals to show the children. Adults liked it last year or a couple years ago too. And, um, oh, and, and an ice cream truck is going to round out the day. So please come and invite anybody that you might think would be interested in getting to know our community a little bit better. Thanks. And I hope you'll, you'll be reaching out to the, the people who are here for the first time, as well as our four-legged guest back there. And also, I'm happy to give a, a or, or Val will be happy to give a little tour of our, of our temple building to anybody who's new here this evening and, and welcomes you again. And, and um, we're very big on community here. So, so please, um, I, I don't even think all the people who have been longtime members know everybody else is sitting around the circle. So please introduce yourself from, from a social distance perspective to, to somebody you, you may not know. And thank you all for, for wearing your masks. We're being very, very cautious uh, with all of this COVID stuff. And, and high holidays uh, are going to be virtual as they were last year, except they're gonna have three in-person services. Uh, one, the first day of Rosh Hashanah, we're going to have a shofar service, which will be back here. The second day is gonna be a tashlich service where we throw our sins into the water, uh, which will, you'll find something to help you out the, out with that in our gift bag. That's going to be at the Concord River. And uh, and on Yom Kippur, we're going to do Yizker back here, all weather permitting. Um, so please join us for all that. And if you're not a member, or for those of you who are not members, then um, uh, we will have like ways that you can uh, access our services. So I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but that's enough for now. And we're now going to continue with the Kiddush. Uh, and I did not ask anybody to lead us in the Kiddush, but Jeremy Kasanov, since you're our first vice president, I am putting you on the spot. On page 122. Please rise, embody your spirit. Heaven and the earth were finished in all their array. On the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been doing, and God ceased on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on it God ceased from all the work of creation that God had done. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, v'ratzavahanu, v'shabbat kaddisho, v'yahava u'vratzon, inchilanu, zikaron l'maase v'reheshit, ki hu yom tehila l'mikra e'kodesh, Teiker li tziyat mi Yitzrayim. Kivanu v'acharta, v'yotanu kidashta, mikoh ha'amim. V'shabat kachecha, v'yahava u'vratzon, hinchaltanu. Baruch ata Adonai, mikadesh, Hashabbat. Amen. Thank you. Now, Sydney. 
You're the only pre-bar bat mitzvah person here. You want to come on up and hold the challah? <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> you want to stand right here, Felipe. Everybody in the whole world can see you. Yeah. <laughs> We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Amotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Amen. Good job, Sydney. Thank you. The embarrassment is over. Please be seated. And our closing song is? I think we're going to sing the Ein Kelohenu, which is, and we'll do a contemporary version of that. I'm sure many of you have heard it by now. And that is on page six, is it 26, I think? Okay. Pretty sure if anybody Find it somewhere else. Let me know. In Kale Hainu, page 626. Okay. <laughs> Good practice for some In Kale Hainu, in Kadonainu, in Kimokainu, in Kamoshienu, in Kale Hainu. Kadonenu, in Kimalkenu, in Kimoshienu, me, Kelohenu, me, Kadonenu, me, Kimalkenu, me, Kimoshienu, in Kelohenu, in Kadonenu, in Kimalkenu, in Kimoshienu, in Kelohenu, in Kadonenu, in Kimalkenu, in Kimoshienu. No de Lilohenu, no de Ladunenu, no de Limakenu, no de Limoshienu, in Kilohenu, in Kadunenu, in Kimokenu, in Kimoshienu, in Kilohenu, in Kadunenu, in Kimokenu, in Kimoshienu, Baro Elohenu, Baro Adunenu. all of us peace health happiness and uh, no more war shabbat shalom shabbat shalom something
Shehekianu vikirmanu vehigianu lazman hazer. Israel, Israel. 